I'm going to try and pop onto one. See what I can start digging up. Oh, I'll call out again. Is there anyone out here? You hear nothing. I just kind of swing. I I just swing my my uh, my rifle around and hop down to the computer and start trying to. Yeah, you you hit the space bar a couple times and <laughs> it takes a few seconds to respond. It's obviously very old tech. Uh, it's not instantaneous whatsoever. Uh, yeah, a little thing says login with a little cursor or a little block just flashing. Admin, admin. Enter. <laughs> Ring. You enter. <laughs> and there's that all sorts of files um, that are located here. One of them says Project N. Another one's Biological Environmentals. Another one um, just has diaries, space logs on them. Okay. I, I tell the captain that I found a bunch of stuff. Somebody else should probably start helping me out. Uh, pull, have somebody else log into a console in the passwords. I hop down onto a... Or hop over to a computer and log Split in. The workload there. And then I guess I'll start with the diaries. I'll... Alright. The diaries page seems to be encrypted. Make a... <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, it's not going to work for this one. Uh, Alright, let's look at mental. Yep. So that's a D8 plus... What else do I got oh. here? Oh, you forgot to do your operate skill because if you do, um, if you have a D6 and something, you get a skill, an associated skill, you could do computers or something. <laughs> uh, no, it's a, it's a D8, isn't it? Is it? I thought it was a D6. Oh, man, I would definitely use computers. Is it? Okay, well, yeah, yeah, I'll definitely make that computers then. All right, so you make your operate computers. Uh, I'm and then mental. Can I do know it all as well? You can. You can do know it all. All right. Sounds good. And then I don't really have anything that's going to help. Right, make your roll. All right. Um, 13. You succeed. It's, it appears that this console belonged to a guy named Anderson. M. Anderson. Um. He basically goes on, and there's some weird type of uh, ship calendar. Not a normal calendar at all. It just says, ship time. 2.97 years. As it reads out in an automated voice. The captain seems thoroughly pleased. I have done my duty very well, and the chief scientist is very happy as well. Our, uh, our biological specimens are thriving. I don't know what it is. And there's more, but they seem to be redacted somehow. That sounds very really menacing. Oh, fantastic. Biological specimens are all we need to be uh, trapped in a ship with. Yeah, boss, that's, that's what I'm getting here. A lot of biological bullshit. Uh, there's some project notes here, too, and I'll click on those. All right. This one is uh, heavily encrypted. Roll again. Yeah. You. All right, tell uh -huh. me. You are just like. Your fingers are a breeze at this keyboard. You're entering all these different um, keys and codes that you to... know. You find a back I'm... door. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm, I'm used to this old piece of shit technology. Not necessarily this technology, but, you know, just having to work my way around old piece of shit technology because the places that I got dispatched to and deployed to had uh, nothing fantastic, uh, nothing nothing great to work with. So I'm yeah. used to having to work with some You get an shit. extra, you get a big damn hero die. A D8. Nice. It basically says, Project N, Project Neutrino, 
So and uh, there's some weird. It just says N A S A. New neutrino system approved. Year 2012. This um, and it has goes on with all these ship schematics, and it looks to be the ship that you're on. And at the core, there's some type of drive for and some type of new drive for this ship. The year you said was 2012. Yeah. And you also NASA, NASA, NASA neutrino. Well, you don't know that. Oh, okay. <laughs> NASA, you know, Your character is. doesn't know that. Sure. So, uh, 2012, though, I mean, that that's... Obviously, something is wrong here. Um, I mean, we, we know enough, I guess, technology-wise, that this type of technology apps, it barely exists. Yeah, it, today, doesn't, I mean, it doesn't even exist no today. As far as you know. Do we know anything of this universe of a, of a time travel type of thing, or is that all just myth and, you know, stories for kids? Well, you can ask about, you can ask Devitt about that. He knows Newtonian physics. I do. Devitt, you know that the closer you get to the speed of light... Um, the slower your relative relative time is compared to anything else moving outside of you. Yep. But yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. The year right now is twenty five seventeen, I believe, is in your time. Uh, can I? I want to basically get to the access logs. I'm going to do like show access logs, something like that, to try and get. Um, to see how many people, when's the last time somebody logged on to one of these computers, or when's the last time some the motion detectors picked up movement, or any type of security audit, so that I can see how long it's been since somebody else has been inside this place. All right. Go ahead, roll again. Yes. All right. You nice one. find that the computers haven't been accessed in a very long time well and it says two years ship time two years 2.79 the last time someone accessed logs how about the time before that um it's just multiple times you know like there's a bunch of activity uh well not a lot but you know once or twice Point zero, you know, point zero zero one, point zero zero two. Like every day, according to the ship time, you would see uh -huh. someone access it until you go back um, ten two ship years. years. Well, ten ship years ago, there was a lot more logons, but two years ago, someone stopped accessing the computers completely. All right, I, I tell everybody else what I'm finding as I'm finding it. Um, you know, letting them know about it. Um, so there's nothing, I can't tell anything recently as in like maybe a few hours, you know, that distress call is only maybe a couple of days old. Um, there's nothing that makes me feel like the crew from that ship is in here. Oh, um, right? not that you know of, but a couple cool things you realize is, or pick up on a uh, chief engineer. Uh, it says, just says chief engineer R R G. Uh, 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 initials and you did see uh, a room with chief engineer on it before entering this place like before entering the spherical room okay um, so I mean do I get the vibe that I've exhausted everything I can do with this computer then with this computer yes okay I'm on the roll so you know vibes are good so all right I let everybody else know that um you know, I should go check out the chief engineer's room. All right. Uh, Scott, you are trying to access the computer. What computer? Uh, just another one? Just. Yeah. All right. Um, roll something similar. Okay, so. I use mental, operate, and uh, yeah. So, let's see. All 
All right, so your mental, I don't see anything that else that you could use on your um, skill list. Uh, maybe you could do re uh, researchers, if that's what that is. Yeah, I think that... Or you yeah. could do mental and researchers, so a D8 plus D8. Not you have to beat a nine. You su successfully right. do it extraordinarily. Uh, you get a D8 hero die, and the same thing actually All pops right. up for you. Okay. Well, Devin, maybe something's telling uh, us that we should both go there. Okay. Since I got the same thing. I think everybody should go there. Come on. Yeah. I'm not really liking where a lot of this is going, but uh, let's just try and keep our ears open. I'm not going to be calling out really anymore. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit off my game. <laughs> so, all right. We'll hit the chief engineer room. See what you guys think from there. Okay, you open the room. Uh, various things, uh, you know, construction models, and this person was very much an engineer. And you, there's no encryption on this computer, but there seems to be some diaries on there. With the old cool. archaic computer speakers, it looks like. <laughs> okay. You guys access it? Go ahead, Dad. You've been uh, you've been our system yeah. guy. So, well, while yeah, you good. do that, Deb, I'll look at these uh, all these components he had in here. All right. So you press play, Deb. Hello, hello. Boop. Okay, good. This works. This is Chief Engineer Renate Gorschlach. Today we begin our burn towards various star systems. First on the list, Alpha Centauri, a distance of 4.3 light years from Earth, ship time 0.0, .0 years at an initial acceleration rate of 10 meters per second squared. This will test our new neutrino propulsion system. From my viewpoint, we are approaching at 0.87 light years per ship year. Once we hit Alpha Centauri in 4.97 ship years, we will begin to increase speed back to Earth, report our data, and hopefully go to somewhere further away. Maybe Wega. Hello? Hello? Okay, good. This works. Look at that. All right. That was awesome. That was nice. And then there's various... Give her props. <laughs> She's watching <laughs> right now, I think, actually. So, um, Thank you. Uh, so, cool. And there's also another... Great. There's a few diaries, meaningless things, but there's another audio one much later on. Listen to it up. All right. Hold on. <laughs> you have an FM radio that you made all this noise with? <laughs> it happens. This isn't right. These readings, it's not possible. Ship time is approximately five years, and we have a relative speed of five light years per ship year, and we can't stop. By this time, roughly 28 Earth years have passed. Theoretical limits have been reworked. We can achieve around 10 light years per one ship year. Ludicrous, simply ludicrous. That's not the only problem. Our lead scientist of biology said that our specimens have mutated somehow. That's not my concern, though. My husband will be dead if we ever make it back alive. In ten years, at ten light years per ship, roughly 114 years have passed by on Earth. We have no chance to make it back to a normal Earth. Fantastic. You know, the freaking Russians, I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's a, it's it's a German a accent, thing. actually. Um, and you see all si types of uh, symbols, round blue symbols with the with NASA on them, decorated all over her room. Uh, 
cool. Are there any like parts in here that I could possibly use? Oh no, use no, they're the they're like plastic right. little model constructions. Okay. All right. So like my room. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're. I think our biggest threat right now. Uh, we'll continue to look look around a little bit. To to be honest with you guys, I'm I'm fascinated. Uh, fascinated but worried. Well. <laughs> The two should go hand in hand. Um, let's... I don't even know where we... Is there any type of map area that we might be able to pull up? Is, is there any way that we can get idea of somewhere else to go here? Actually, on the on the other computer there, there is a ship schematics. That, okay. In the yeah, central what? CC area. Um, if there... Is there an actual engine room that uh, beyond the core? I think they said that's where they were getting everything from was this core. Um, do we know of any idea beyond that? Uh, you look at the ship schematics and there's plenty of storage options. Uh, one is very far away. Of course, this has a diameter of two miles, but that translates into a very long walkable circumference rate. So... Uh, it's probably about a half mile away from your current position. This place is huge. Yeah. Uh, it's, let's see here. Yeah, if we can find any type of storage stuff, let's let's see. If, I, I have no idea if we'll be able to recover the type of parts that we need, but it, at least it's something to start exploring. And uh, if if that other ship ended up losing any type of power or anything like that, they may be trying to go towards the same thing. Uh, do we find any kind of uh, paint or anything that we can use as markings as we go along? Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, you you can find all sorts of types of writing materials, chalk, uh, something called an expo marker. Um, Oh, uh, something, another thing called a sharpie. You don't. I've never even heard of these names before. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> How does it work? <laughs> so, uh. Oh, it, it's like it has a cap on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's make our way to, uh, to the storage there. Um,. And see, see what we can uncover. Okay. As we go along, I make markings every time we turn anywhere to make sure that we know where, where we've been and how to get back in case anything uh, bad goes down. All right. Uh, so you go down towards the storage area, another long corridor, and about a tenth of a mile out. Uh, you come to another large chamber uh and there's another alliance recorder just laying on a computer console yeah, this one has blood on it let's pull up the gun <laughs> actually though <laughs> i'm good right now well uh let's yeah. let's hit it up hit what up the bloody keyboard yeah the recorder <laughs> Hit it, hit it in what way? Like with a bat because it's bloody? And, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, listen. How, I'll how, play it. All right. I shoot play. things from afar, man. I don't know what to tell you. I don't like right. getting my hands bloody. This is Lieutenant Doolin. This is Lieutenant Doolin. Sergeant Err went crazy and he ran away. He said there were people following him, but I never saw anything. We did come across some very archaic suit designs that had the abbreviations of N-A-S-A -A on them. The suits weren't empty either. It looked like some sort of space rot. But the pressure problem must have been stabilized because my suit is shot and I'm still breathing. I'm going to find Sergeant Err. Doolin out. Great. So the Alliance came here and... Lost well, one of them lost their minds. Uh, let's let's keep our wits about us here, guys. Uh, do make sure that you hear anything, you see anything. Let's keep 
just keep communication open between us all. We'll we'll pull through it. Can we uh, tell how it's bloody? Like uh, how the pooling is set up? I mean, I'm not I'm not Dexter, so I can't tell. Oh, exactly it just looks like happened, but... someone cut their hand on something and then grasped the tape recorder. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. So it's not like gunshot wound or not that you know. Mm. Not that you can tell. And it's dry blood now, right? It is dry blood now. Yes. Okay. Ooh, good question. Yeah, that. Yeah, that is good. That make a difference. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are we are we in that storage room? No, it's still uh, still four away. tenths of a mile ahead of you. All right. So uh, let's keep moving, and. Uh, Let's keep ourselves armed and ready.